And when he entered into the boat, his disciples followed him. And behold, a great tempest arose in the sea, so that the boat was covered with waves. But he was asleep. And they came to him and awakened him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And Jesus said to them, Why are you fearful, O ye of little faith? Then rising up, he commanded the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. But the men wondered, saying, What manner of man is this? For the winds and the sea obey him. And now I will read the Hadock commentary on this. The bark is the Catholic Church. The sea denotes the world. The winds and tempests show the attempts of the wicked spirits to overturn the church. The Lord seems to sleep when he permits his church to suffer persecution and other trials, which he permits, that he may prove her faith and reward her virtue and merits. The apostles had followed their divine master. They were with him and executing his orders, and it is under these circumstances that they are overtaken with a storm. If their obedience to Jesus Christ, if his presence did not free them from danger, to what frightful storms do those persons expose themselves who undertake the voyage of the present life without him? What can they expect but to be tossed to and fro for a time, and at last miserably to founder? Faithful souls ought, from the example here offered them, to rise superior to every storm and tempest by invoking the all-powerful and ever-ready assistance of heaven, and by always calling in God to their help before they undertake anything of moment.